Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm out in the car. I'm heading out for my first, actually, proper fishing trip since I've been here in Cairns. Um, I've been told by a few people there's a spot down here, there's a river mouth you can actually walk to. Um, I'll let you know where it is if I do any good. So I thought, well, today's the only day I've got off. The tide's not perfect, but uh, we have a low tide of 1.30. It's now 10.30. I'm heading out there. It should take me about you know, 40 minutes to get there. So I'm just going to drive out here and hopefully fish low tide. Hopefully the water's not too dirty, but we'll find out. Walk to this creek mouth and have a few casts with some lures, some soft plastics, some jerk baits, maybe some stick baits, whatever else. And just, you know, have my first proper fish here in Cairns. Well, hopefully it goes well. If it does, like I said, I'll share the spot. Um, but at the moment I'm just, you know, sitting here in a nice air-conditioned air car because today is hot. It's like 32 or 33. There's not a breath of wind or anything. It's just, it's hot. There's a car, you pain in the ass. There we go. Anyway, guys, um, I'll talk to you when we get down to, well, when I want to get down to the beach and I start me half an hour walk. Okay, I'll see you then. Alright, guys, I've made it down to the beach. Now I've got about a half an hour walk, 20 minute walk, I guess. Have a look around, it's quite nice. Not a bad looking area, huh? Guys, I'm gonna check this place out. It's definitely no secret, that's for sure. <laughs> Have a look at the other side. Looks interesting though, eh? What I like is a nice deep point here, and then it comes around to this little bay here. That's down there, it's out of the wind. A little pocket like a little eddy in there there's not a lot of current but it looks deep going around to this point good place to go cast a few lures and jerk baits and some plastics and hopefully we can find a nice fish today and even over this side the actual mouth looks pretty good and then it gets very shallow as it passes through the beach there out to the ocean there's probably 10 or 12 people over the other side there having a fish. I'm the only one on this side. Hmm, that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> we'll find out. But anyway, there's a river. You guys can see that on camera. I can see bait splashing over there. Getting chased, it's flipping around everywhere. This should be interesting. Alright, guys, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to start off with a jerk bait. Looks like a mullet pattern. Okay, and there's deeper water here just off this edge. Everyone on the other side there I can see is using live baits, they're all, all on the live bait, but that's alright, I'm gonna go jerk baits. Stay back away from the edge, as I don't want to, you know, get chased by one of those giant geckos. A lot of castle on these banks here I think but we'll persevere for a while see how we go the best part is it's sort of like an easterly wind so it's behind me coming off the water like we've got the ocean over over there and this river comes in then winds around up the up there so it's where I can fish here in the mouth I can actually cast with the wind behind me, which is fantastic. And I'll work my way around that edge there, that edge, that deep, big edge over there. I'll work my way around that because that looks really deep and nice, and that's where I saw the bait before. I'm going to keep on casting and twitching through here. And hopefully we can find our first barra. Since I moved here, this is actually the first real fishing trip. I'm looking forward to giving it a good old crack and catching a decent fish. All right, 
guys. Hope you enjoy and hope I catch some fish. Be nice to catch a barrow before the closure. That's in a couple of days. This is a nice imitation, like a nice shiny mullet sort of jerk bait. So a barrow of all sizes should grab this. Salmon, trevally, maybe a queenie. Definitely jacks. But it might be on the wrong side for jacks. Seems like all the structures on the other side. This is like the deep drop off, deep edge, which is fine. Hopefully there's some big fish cruising along here somewhere. Or a fish cruising along here somewhere. There's definitely some structure on the bottom. Hey guys. I've been casting with me hard body for about I don't know. Half an hour, 40 minutes, not a bump. Second cast of the soft plastic. And what have I hooked here? Oh, I'm not sure, it's silver. Valley or Queenie or something, I think. I don't know. Second castle of the soft plastics. Ah, oh, little Trev. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, get up here, little fella. Oh, little GT. Little GT, eh? Oh well, better than nothing I suppose. Yeah, 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 grunt, 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 grunt. Damn, you want that plastic? Get rid of that. There we go guys. <laughs> First little fish land base. And he's gone. Okay. Oh. That's a start. I was hoping for something, you know, different, but that's a start. What happened there? No, it's all good. Plastic's still good. And you noticed, I've got Old Faithful. Just thought I'd give Old Faithful a try. Well, let's keep going. I've still got about an hour and a half until low tide, until low water. And there's two charter boats that keep on drifting up there, so there must be something up there. They keep on doing the same drift. They've been there for about an hour. I'll just keep on working this point here. I've got a bit of a point here. There, you see a few silver flashes in this big eddy here. They've got a nice eddy here. So I'm just casting out, working all lures back, and that's where I hook the GT, just in this eddy. I've seen some barracuda in here, a couple of big swells. Yeah, so I'll just keep working this point here, guys, and we'll go from there. Cast back out and work it again. Little GT. Oh, at least the account's open. Finally. Be nice to hook a little land based barrel. That'd be fun. Even a small one. It'd be something different for me. Oh, good old Trevally strikes again. There his tail. Oh, got me. Cut me open there, look at that. Gotta be careful with Trevally of all sizes. Uh, anyway, that was a bit of fun. As I said, it's been about 40 minutes of nothing. Seen a few swells, some bait flying around, some silver flashes down here off this point in this big eddy. But casting that big jerk bait, nothing, nothing, nothing. Second cast on the plastic, <laughs> GT, little one. Oh guys, I'm just going to keep plodding along here for a while and see how we go. Bait, plenty of bait. But...
No fish. The guys in the charter boats up there, I haven't heard of them or seen much. The bunch of guys over there with cast nets on the other beach are just running up and down like, well, yo-yos and just throwing cast nets everywhere. So I don't think they're getting much in the way of fishing. And I've only got that small, small to rally. And actually that's it, not even a bump. One hit, one fish. I might actually stick on a uh, little surface lure. I might put a, a MMD splash prawn on because I do see a lot of bait and some bigger swells chasing a bait about halfway across to, towards the other side. Hitting some small bait fish. I might put a you know, small MMD on and see what happens. Well, I've been casting here for probably two and a half hours now. Still just the one little trevally. Um, I had a couple of hits and misses on the soft plastic after that, but I don't know what they were, it's just too quick to tell. Um, they dropped it pretty quickly, must have had a like a hold of the tail and just let go. Uh, apart from that, it's very quiet. So, as the tide dropped, all the people over there have disappeared and up the river, they're all disappeared. It's pretty much slack water now and even all the bait and fish I saw on the surface before stopped. So I thought I'd sit down and have a drink of water and give it half an hour, have half an hour rest. And as the tide starts moving in, I'll fish around this corner here and see what happens for about an hour, hour and a half and running tide. Hopefully it'll change. But while I'm sitting down, I thought I'd just give you a quick show of what we're using today. Most of you guys will recognise the old NRX, it's my old flathead stick, but it's quite a heavy stick, it's up to 16 pounds, so what I've done, I went and put a Sustain 3000 on it with 16 pound sunline, so I've just upped the ante on that in case you do hook a batter or something. And today I've got a 20 pound leader on that, and as you can see, a jerkbait, I can't remember the brand of that jerkbait, but it is sus suspending. And it shines like mad, looks great in the water, but you know what? I haven't had a touch on that, not a bump, nothing. That has been completely and utterly dead, it's really weird. Um, just until about 10 minutes ago, there was a bit of bait on the surface and a few little splashes in between. And as, as you can tell, we're not far from the airport. <laughs> you wouldn't think so, looking around here, you think you're in the middle of nowhere, but Kansas, 15 minutes down the road, the airport's just there. Um, Oh no wait, it's very, very noisy in here. See that? Noisy bugger. Okay, as I was saying, there's a bit of bait and a few splashes on the surface. I wasn't sure what they were, you couldn't see them. So I put on an MMD splash prawn. This is the old Zadius rod with me little, you know, um, Vanford. I couldn't think of the name, Vanford. That's still got 8 pound on it and a 12 pound litre. Uh, second or third cast on that, just at me feet off this point here. Something hit it. I had him on for a few seconds. He ripped, you know, a few feet of line off and stopped. I'm pretty sure it was a little tarpon. It looked like a tarpon, anyway. Through this murky water, it looked like a little tarpon. But I pulled the hooks. And since then, everything's gone quiet. Like, there's no bait, there's no splashing, nothing. And water, it's slow tide, it's slack water. So guys, bear with me, I'm going to have a drink, then we'll give it another hour and wander off home. Uh, wish me luck for the next hour or so. I was thinking about calling it quits guys and... Oh. I thought I'd just put the little uh, Rapala ripstop on. Because that thing's, you know, quite a nice lure, it's got a lot of action to it. And I've also come out here to really right on the point. This is part of the river. It's very, very low, as you can see. I mean, part of the you know, channel it runs in. So I thought I'd come out here before the tide gets too high with this little ripstop. And again, we got ourselves a little trevally. So that's two trevally. And one little, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, 
um, hair, uh, tarp on. But what I'll do is, come on mate, get out. Just get those hooks out of here and I'll throw you back. There we go. I was hoping for something a little bit better today, but anyway, better than nothing, guys. Another little trolley. There you go, fella. Off he goes. Like I was saying, I walked out here. You can see this is the channel. The channel runs across here and over there and comes into this river. So I'm actually standing in the channel right at this moment. And as the, um, the tide has just changed, there's a couple of little runs down like form. So I'm just going to have a few casts here. In amongst this, before it gets too high, keep an eye on the water as it starts getting higher. I'll be out of here, guys, at the end of the day. And so far, two trevally, one miss tarp on, a couple of half hearted bumps, and that's for four and a half hours casting here. Like I said, my first real fishing trip, it's a learning curve. Um, it's been fun. You wouldn't believe I'm like 15 minutes from cans would you the planes are still going past the airport the airport up here is busy as but I've probably got half a dozen more cars and I better get out of here before I get blocked in because I don't want to go walking through the water it's the start of stinger season and that's the last thing I want to do is get bitten by oh, oh damn bitten by a stinger and there goes another fish, just missed. Huh. It must be coming on the tube first of the tide change. Might stay here a little while if that's the case. I'll go back over there to my point where I was off that point, keep casting. But for the moment I'll stay here because it's one fish, one miss and about four casts. these channels and stuff around here this over winter would be a good spot to come looking for flathead walking around through these flats over high tide in winter I reckon you'd find some good flatties which would be pretty cool come all the way to Cairns to catch flathead hmm. Still, it'd be nice to hook a queenie or a barra or something I'm not actually used to. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, look at the size of that thing. What was that? Um, actually, I think they're a big mullet. Something on the surface over there, but I'm pretty sure they were just big mullet. A oh, fair sized mullet. It's not ripping in yet, still got. Okay, a little bit of action on the surface again. First time I've seen that in an hour. One more cast this side. Then I might go to the other side of that bar. There's a bar here, and then there's a channel over there. Yeah, I'll go cast that, and then I might go back to that point, have a few casts, and I'm out. Actually, I have a cast at this little spot here. Then I might get out of here before the tide starts coming in and block me in. I've been out standing in the hot sun in this type of weather. 
Oh, I'm feeling it now. It's only about 32 degrees. A slight east of the wind. I don't think my legs are white anymore. They feel like they're red. And what I said before, guys, I'll tell you where I am. I haven't done that well, but it is a nice little spot. And if you're up here on a holiday or something, it's a nice little spot to come. That over there is Holloway's Beach. So you've got to just drive. It's north of Cairns. Um, just drive to Holloway's Beach. And along the car park, along the foreshore there. Just park the car and walk north. This is the north and end. This is the Barren River. This is like the northern arm of the Barren. The southern arm, the bigger arm, is on the other other side, south. And that's down near Mechanis or something, Mechanis Beach. That's down a bit further. Oh, I think I just had a bump. Just as I was trying to talk to you, bugger. Um, yeah, so Mechanis Beach is the south arm. That's the main arm of the Barren, the big one. This is the northern arm, a bit smaller. And where I parked is this Holloway's Beach. Just come for a 20 minute walk, 15 minute walk along the beach. North. Nice little spot if you come for, for a holiday or something. And I said all these channels and stuff, I reckon over winter, when it's cooler, high tide, walk around here, you probably catch a few, a lot of good flathead through these channels. And won't have to worry about stingers that time of year. Anyway guys, a couple more casts, if I do any good I'll let you know, other than, other than that, um, I'll see you in the next video, I'm not sure where or how or whatever, but I'll see you soon, bye.